Rose. Today we're doing this Monstra bracelet quick kit from Tierra Cass. Um, it does have a fun little thing on there, kiss essay, like what your skill level. So this says skill set, not too hard. So let's go ahead and open this. I'm just going to slide everything on out. So it gives us a nice string. We have all these beads and spacer beads. Um, it also tells you what tools you'll end up needing and all the supplies that come in it. And then it has this nice little instruction sheet in here. So if you're doing this at home, you can follow along nice and easy. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these beads and get them nice and separated out. So I have my leaf there. I have my check glass beads. I have all of these little metal spacers. Oops. Okay, all the metal spacers and then all the little seed beads here. going to start by folding our string in half and you're just going to kind of give it a nice little tug to kind of straighten your cording out and this should be in the center and we're going to go ahead and just slide that loop right through your monster leaf here. And then we're going to make that loop and pull your ends through. We're going to pull that nice and tight. And now we're going to do an overhand knot. So we're going to make it loop. We're going to pull that string up and over. And then you're going to pull the ends through. She's going to kind of show that off there. And then I am going to want to make sure that this is nice and snug up against this uh, little loop here. I'm going to pull both my strings, making sure it's nice and snug. All right. Now, what we're going to do is put this little spacer bead on first, and you're going to string it through both ends of the string here. So both ends go through. And again, this is just going to have a lot of overhand knots. So we're just going to go ahead, do our knot, bring the strings up over and under. And we're going to get that knot nice and snug up against the bead, the spacer bead. And now we're going to come in with that check glass bead. And both ends are going to go through him as well. If you have a needle at home, a collapsible eye needle would probably be the best. But if you have no needles at home, there's no need for it. The beads are wide enough that you are able to slide the strings through. Another thing you could grab to help you get your knot closer is um, some tweezers. They gotta have a fine point on them or needle nose. Another thing I could do, sorry, I'm gonna get this knot here first, is I could, to improvise, if I don't have the tweezers, I can use my rare nose plier, butt it right up against 
that bead and pull it right in there. So it'll get it nice and snug up against my bead. And then we're gonna come in with a spacer bead. Both ends through the bead. And we're gonna do that overhand knot. I'll go ahead and show you guys that needle nose again. Let me see if I can do this on the inside so you guys can see. Just gonna pull, slide it out and tighten it. So you wanna make sure when you're using any of the tweezers that you have the tip right up near the hole of your bead and you're just gonna slide it and then pull it on out. And we'll show that one more time just so you guys can see. You don't have to use any tweezers or pliers here to make that knot nice and close if you're able to do it. But for those that struggle, they are nice to have. So again, I have that needle nose right up on there. And then I'm just gonna pull it out and tighten my knot. And you're just gonna come, go and repeat all the spacer, the knot, the check glass, the knot, until you are at your desired length of string or of your bracelet. I'm gonna do about a seven and a half uh, or about seven inches. And then hopefully my little loop will be that extra length I need to close it. I do have a bigger wrist, so please make sure you know what length you're gonna need if you're making this for yourself or someone else.
Okay, now that I have this at my desired length, I'm gonna go ahead and string on these little seed beads. And again, both ends of the string are gonna go through. Okay, so we're gonna string about 16 of these seed beads onto both ends. And then we're going to go ahead and loop it over. And this is going to be the hole that our uh, leaf is going to be able to go through so that we can close our bracelet up. Now that we got the 16 beads on, we're gonna go ahead and make an overhand, fold it over and we're gonna make an overhand loop. And that's gonna be what we do to tie off our end and we'll just add a little bit of adhesive. Okay, so I got my knot nice and secure there and I'm gonna go ahead and come in with that GS Hypo and I'm just gonna make sure I get it all on the knot. This will dry clear, so I don't have to worry about it showing at all. And then I will let this dry, and then I'll cut off the access string. And when I go to cut off that access string, now that this is dry, I just use my little flush cutters and there you go you have a beautiful strong bracelet look at how cute that is mm -hmm.